guys. Um, this is your girl, Queen Red from House Queen TV, and we're gonna get into the polite. I think I did a video on him prior, but I really don't like touching on this subject because it's very, you know, not cringeworthy, but it's very sensitive and it makes you angry and sad and disappointed in the conscious community, those the ones who stuck up for Blood Breath of Light and the ones that come in your comment section talking shit to you and trying to protect his nasty ass. Yeah, that what makes you makes things disappointing in black people because I believe that he married his stepdaughter. Yeah, he, he I don't know if him and the girl that he's with now, uh, they're married. But anyway, that's nor here to there. But she was a minor. She was He was dating her mother. And um, then they got into a relationship. So, um, those who are not familiar with this case, it's, um, he has multiple girlfriends. I don't know if multiple wives, because it can't be had multiple wives. Not in the United States. That is not, um allowed in the United States of America. So you don't have minty wives. You have concubines. You have girlfriends. They're not your legal wife. They're just bitches that hang around you and call you their wife. Because it's not legal in the state of the United States of America. So um, it was a young lady. I don't think they was dating, but like a connoisseur. And I'm not victim blaming her at all. I would never fucking do that. But I am mean, going to shed some spotlight on the situation but I would never ever blame that woman for what happened to her daughter but I will say what's on my fucking mind okay I don't know what was the reason that you was entwined yourself with a man that have multiple wives there's nothing that he can teach you there's nothing that he can say to you there's nothing to make you want to be around a nigga that has multiple wives unless you're into shit like that okay did you do your homework on him i don't fucking know because i don't know you like that all i know that something happened to your daughter that shouldn't happen you allow him to take your daughter downstairs you have not known this man that long for him to even take your daughter downstairs or or take your daughter out of your vision. You have not known him that fucking well. But I'm not blaming you as a mother. I'm blaming the situation. So, there's nothing that a nigga can say to me to say that I'm going to take your daughter downstairs to... to to congratulate her or to talk to her about how good that your mom has been, you know, guiding you. Okay, what you taking her for? Telling her, hey, bitch, you know that I'm her mom. She got it from me. Okay, thank you. She be telling me that, not my daughter. Okay, so what the fuck you want to tell my daughter that you can't tell me, bitch? Fuck you. But I'm not blaming the mother. I'm just saying, there's nothing that a nothing ass nigga can tell me to make me um, let him take my daughter downstairs. You got to get in the elevator. All the way downstairs. But you're, you're getting on an elevator. Even if you ain't taking it to an elevator, you could take it to another room inside the hotel. Okay. But I'm not victim blaming the mom. So, like I said, if you guys are not familiar with this case, the young lady, the girlfriend that was entwined with Polite, um... Um, like I said, I don't know how long she been knowing this motherfucker. But it wasn't enough. So, he told her that he wanted to talk to her daughter to let her daughter know that your mom doing a good job with you. She's molding you to a young lady and um, she's respectable and, and she's making good grades in school and all that. It's trying to hype the girl up, bigger up on the shit that she already fucking know because her mama taught her. Not her dad, but her mom because she is a single mother. So, Des wanted to grad congratulate her and shit like that. And so the mom allowed him to take her downstairs for, you know, I think it was um, breakfast or, or, or early lunch. I'm not sure. But, um, 
So, um, she would take a shower and stuff like that. Cause I, I think, okay, I think they're supposed to be meeting back downstairs for dinner or lunch. I don't, I'm not sure which one it is. <clears throat> but anyways, so he took her downstairs and like she took a shower or whatever to get ready for whatever occasions they were going to have already downstairs in the hotel. So when she got dressed and whatever, she went downstairs. So, cause she's supposed to meet, um, Polite and her daughter down there with other people that was supposed to be gathering for the, the event or whatever. He wasn't there. She went to ask other people, have you seen Polite and my daughter? No, we not have we have not seen him. He said he was coming down, but we have not seen him. So she got to call on his phone. He would not answer. And they start calling her daughter's phone. She did not answer. She called him countless and countless of times. Okay, so he went to another hole. He said he was gonna take her to a club or whatever. This girl's not even allowed to even be in a club. She's not even over the age to get into a club. I don't care what adult supervision or not. She's still not able to get into the club. So he took her to another hotel where he assaulted her and did um, other things to her um, and stuff like that. And so when they got back to the hotel, the, the mom noticed that her daughter's mouth was bruised and she was like um, incoherent. She wasn't, she wasn't um, the same way that she was when she left out of her mama vision so um at this point brother polite is pleading and pleading and pleading with her not to call the police or whatever she said nigga you got me fucked up you can do this shit to these bitches but not me i'm not that woman but even though i let my child go downstairs with you not knowing you for whatever reason i did not know you that long but i still let my daughter go with you but um yeah i'm still gonna call the police on you bitch ass he was talking about, you're going to ruin my career. No, bitch. You can ruin your own career because you a nasty motherfucker. You got all these women walking around you half-ass naked with their build their body asses, but you still want children. How the fuck do you have... And I can't say they beautiful because all of them ain't cute. Some of them are cute, but not, not like beautiful, beautiful. Okay, but anyway. How do you have all these women around your bitch ass? Stay with me. How do you have all these women around your bitch punk ass and you... Still want a child. That's just a cover up, y'all. That's just a cover up. He surround himself with all these bitches, all these pussies, all these kitty cats, but he still want a child. Okay? Twist it in the head. You have women throwing their stuff at you, but you don't want that. That's just a cover. That's just a fucking front. You want a child, you nasty bitch. So, okay. So, um, Tasha K was the one blew this shit up off the doors, but, um, Sonetta, he knew what was going on, and countless others, I can't speak on all of them or whatever, but I done seen lives of when, um, they had called Sayed, Say, well, Sonetta out on his shit, and then Sonetta called himself out on some shit when he got mad at Brother Polite. So, this is not alleged, this is hearsay what I heard from mouth to ear. Okay, so that's just a little background on the situation. But if you're not clear on what I said, because the way I said it, Google it. You will see. So, um, before he got charged was today, he was doing a press tour talking about, I ain't plead, to, I ain't plead guilty to the motherfucking thing. He, he even went to the club and celebrated. <laughs> yeah, he, he said that motherfuckers lying on him. He even went at Tony the Closer. Talking about all these motherfuckers is lying on him. He did not plead guilty. And he got money to be petty with motherfuckers because they lying on his reputation and go he told his followers to go to these people and pages and and do whatever because they lying on him. They trying to ruin his, his reputation because he did not plead guilty to a motherfucking thing. And um but he never said that he didn't do it. He didn't say he didn't do it. He just said he didn't plead guilty. Okay, nigga. Okay. It's your nasty ass. And then the bitches that still stayed with your fucking ass after the, sh the evidence came out in court, nigga. They found your semen on the goddamn girl fucking um, lip, her blouse, and, and other places, nigga. So DNA don't motherfucking lie. But I know people can plant evidence when they need to plant evidence. We, we I don't see that countless of motherfucking times in real motherfucking life. But don't play in my motherfucking face, bitch, nigga. So whew, let me calm down. Calm down, Red. Calm down. So. You have your semen on this lady's, what well, this young girl, this, this young girl's 
face and in her body and her in her clothing. But still, I can plead guilty to a motherfucking thing. It don't matter, bitch. You see me put your ass there with her. So let's get into the because Tasha, like I said, Tasha K, she blew the shit off the motherfucking roof on his motherfucking ass. So hey, 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 y'all. This is House of Queen CB, and my name is Queen Red. And um, thank you guys for coming over here and joining and watching and viewing the content. I appreciate it so, so, so much. Let me know in, in the comment section what you guys thought about the content with the commentary. And um, I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. And again, thank y'all so much. And don't forget to like the content. And so, let's get into this fuck nigga. Take it away from her because of punk ass bitches like you and this pissy tail ass, funky mouth ass motherfucker here. You thought just like the white men taught you to stop. That's what you did. You didn't even consider, could this be true? Rumors. 
The last thing I'm going to address very quickly. This means that people are lying. If I, if I was lying, you'd be able to find something that contradicts what I'm saying. They I just did. no plea. And there is no plea for child molestation on my behalf. I never plead to no child molestation, and I never made a plea in the first place. These are lies. These are lies. And that's it. Now, you can try to turn it into a conversation about well, what you should say is this, what you should say is that. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. I ain't paid six figures for a defense for me to be out here speaking on my own behalf during a wild ass situation. So why are you now? Now the white man is a goddamn devil to you guys all the damn time every day around the week until he says something about someone that disagrees with your religion or your politics. Lastly, before I get off this live, I just want to address the likes of this guy. Just finding out who he is. Hold on. Who's this guy? What's this guy's name? I'm trying to get it clear. Hold on. Tony totally because Let's get it clear. Okay. Got it. This guy's name is supposed to be Tony the Closer. Right? So this Tony the Closer guy. Hold on. This Tony the Closer guy. He posted this. Brother Polite pleads guilty to molesting a 14-year-old child. It's a complete lie. So people reached out to him via the same post that he posted. Okay? Hold on. Let's but he never said he didn't do it. He posted this. His name right there. Tony the Closer. You see that? Tony the Closer. I don't even... Just find out who this dude is. His name is Tony the Closer. So he posted that I pled guilty to molestation of a 14-year-old child. He posted that. When informed that that is character defamation, this is not true. When he was informed that this is absolutely false, there has been no plea, and I never pled to no damn child molestation, guess what happened? He took this down. But guess what other people did? Other people reposted this as if it was a fact. So we screen recorded the video. And see, that's another way of him trying to play the word the wordplay. You know, I never plead to my station. I never plead to this. But what did you plead to? So I didn't plead to this, but I plead I plead guilty to that. That's that that's that wordplay shit. Oh, I didn't plead um, guilty to. Um, Grand Theft Auto. I plead guilty to stealing. Same thing. They didn't put. They didn't. They didn't put Grand Theft Auto as a car, but they did just say you was stealing. So you you didn't plead guilty to Grand Theft Auto, but just you, you plead guilty to stealing. It's the same thing. They just didn't put Grand Theft Auto, but they just say you was. You just play guilty for just stealing. We're not going to say what you stole. we just going to say stealing. So that's that wordplay bullshit. I didn't get charged. I didn't plead guilty to molestation. I, I plead guilty to woo woo woo. Don't try to play on people. Fuck, don't try to play that word sniff game shit. But he did not never say not once. I didn't do it. I pay my lawyer six figures to talk on my behalf. But you got your bitch ass on Instagram talking. So if you pay your lawyer six figures, then why are you talking at all, my nigga? Huh? Why are you talking at fucking all, my nigga? If you pay your lawyer six figures, well, bitch, you pay, yeah, you pay your lawyer six figures, and he got you a, a great deal, because you only got seven years, and I forgot how many years of probation you got, I think that's ten years, yeah, so that's a good deal that you got seven years and shit, so you're going to be in protected custody the whole seven years, okay, okay, okay with that, so, mm, 
<laughs> wow. So, you still going to jail, though. Your lawyer, you're supposed to pay your lawyer to keep you out of jail. Out of jail. You got less charges. Yeah, you got, you got less of time to be in jail. But you pay your lawyer to keep you out of jail. Okay, my guy? Uh, okay, do we got that understood? So you pay him six figures to talk on your behalf. But you got your bitch ass on Instagram trying to prove something that was not. And you gonna try to, I know you want to talk about you gonna sue him. Because you're not saying that same shit now. You, you pled guilty to something. It may wasn't what that is, but you pled guilty to something. You took a plea deal for something. In that same category. So you need your nasty ass off of social media praying on these kids and just take a bit the help that you need. You need to fucking um I can't say that. Hold your breath till you can't hold it no more. Hold your breath till you can't hold it no more. Turn into a ghost. Turn into a ghost. Yeah, turn into a ghost. That'll make the world a little bit happier. If you turn into a ghost and y'all know what a ghost is. Screenshot it to make sure we knew who did it. Because I got several people that kept sending this to me. So I'm like, who the hell is this Tony was the ghost your guy? Name. Shut the fuck up, who is this guy? So, what's crazy is, he took an old video over two years ago, and put this fake caption up here like it was true, so he entices you with the video, and then puts a fake caption there. When informed that this is character defamation, you know what he did? He took the video down, and put up a new one, and retitled it, and it's still incorrect, says that I took a plea, but there was no plea that it took place. So all you guys running around, like I just got off the phone with a brother and tried to explain to him that it's irresponsible to repost something without doing your due diligence, but he ain't want to listen. He want to take it like I'm threatening him and this, that, and the third. And I'm trying to tell the brother respectfully, you know where you got the information from? The dude that posted it took it down. So you can do what you want with it. You can keep it up. But I said, bro. I ain't coming at you. Other people will deal with it totally differently, meaning legally. Other people will deal with you totally differently. I'm not. I'm just telling you, good brother, this has to stop. But I can't even get through. Tell me, and that's okay. He can live his life the way he wants. Now, look at this guy right here. This is one of the, the, the goofy people that took Tommy the Closest Post, or what's his name? Tony. Tony the Closest Post. I'm going to give him the clout that he wants. This guy's called King Erna Official Page. He said, so many vouch for this kitten. He said, so many vouch for this kitten, brother polite. But as we see, he pled out and is going to jail for 60 days after touching this 14-year-old stepdaughter. No honor in his veins. Honor snatch. So this person now, whoever this is, talking about he snatched my honor. He's saying that I'm going to jail for 60 days for pleading guilty to child molestation. Does that even make sense? Mental health is at an all-time rise in the black community. He said that I'm doing 60 days in prison to a plea of child molestation. Do they even give you 60 fucking days for something like that? This is the type of goofy stuff that people reaching out to me asking me if it's true. Asking me if it's true. So just so I can slow it down. These are lies. And no matter how much you hate me and want to flip it and change the narrative, well, even if that's a lie, how come you don't do this? Or how come you don't say that? Or how come you don't? Yo, listen, bro. You have to be a wicked person. I don't know who this Tony the Closer guy is. I don't know who he is. That's why this shit right there. There we go. We got it now. Yeah, so I don't know who this Tony the Closer guy is, but I know about you now. And we on your body, boy. 
what you should have did is just apologize. My bad, I put out misinformation. Don't take this post down when crazy people like this start running with it. Talking about I'm doing 60 days in prison for pleading guilty. Don't take this post down, put up a new post, retitle it, and still say that I pled when there's no plea. So again, I said this for the people that rock out with me. Didn't do this for the goofies that no matter what I say or do, they want to find a new argument. Because this ain't the time for no arguments. And you Negroes aren't the people that need to be talked to, per se. But what Son is doing, he's about to be Tasha Kate. And what I'm strongly suggesting to you people out there, because I got the bread to be petty. And I'm going to be petty, trust me. Petty hour is nearing. Petty hour is nearing. I got the bread to be petty. And so what I'm saying to you, brothers and sisters out there, before you cut and paste, take misinformation and run with it, because I'm going to tell you something. Calling someone a pedophile, saying someone pled guilty to child molestation, and then finding out there was no plea and I never pled to nothing like that. That is completely wrong. Now, I got to the subpoena on June 5th. That's the, those, that's the date of the filing. And then on June 21st, you get a, a motion for continuance. And now on July 7th, there, there's going to be a plea hearing. So um, just do a little bit of um, just look at some of those people. <laughs> and because I, I believe those, that's what triggered the... Um, plea arrangement that we will hear about. Good morning, Your Honor. David Harris on behalf of Mr. Noah. I'm sure you all are aware that there's a lot of folks on Zoom yes, in this sir. case. Um, if we may go sidebar for a moment. Sure. All right, so back on page 10, Mr. Nowak, it'll be reset for plea 9-6. Can we set it for 10 a.m.? Is that all right, or just yes, all right. nine six for ten a.m. for plea? You're going to take possession of Mr. Nowak's passport and then do a notice of compliance that you have it. Correct. All right. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Oh no, we can't get no copyright on this one. Hell to the no. Let me turn this shit down. So this is him partying, and it says down there, it says, all of those sex charges have been drugged, lies from the very, can't see the shit, lies from the very, see? oh, fucking the guinea, y'all, I need some glasses, look out for update tomorrow okay so it says um and you got he got like 23 people liked it and others so it says very polite all of those sex charges have been dropped lies from the fucking beginning look out for updates tomorrow and he up in the club with bitches and niggas and the niggas that's giving him dap and all this shit, they should be knocking the shit out of them. Because what they, they, they got sisters, cousins, whatever, whatever. I don't fucking know. Okay. Now, this part here. This is Tony the Closer, y'all. This Tony the Closer been messy, messy, messy. Yeah, he been. Now, he's talking about petty. Now, this was petty. This was petty. This was petty. This molestation on a child. 12 to 16 years, a second degree felony, punishable by up to 15 years in state prison. Lewd and lascivious like conduct it. on a child under 16 by a defendant 18 or over, yes, a second that. degree felony, punishable by up to 15 years in state prison. Count four, lewd and lascivious exhibition on a child under 16 yeah. years, defendant over 18, a second degree felony, punishable yeah. by up to 15 years state prison. And you know contributing to the delinquency, dependency of a child, a first degree misdemeanor, punishable by up to one year in jail. And then count six is interference with custody 
a third degree felony punishable by up to five years state prison. The state has now filed an amended information today charging you with the following. Aggravated child abuse, great bodily harm, a first degree felony punishable by up to 30 years state prison. Count two is aggravated child abuse, great bodily harm, a first degree felony punishable by up to 30 years state prison and contributing to the delinquency uh, dependency of a child, a first degree misdemeanor punishable by up to one year in jail. It is my understanding that you wish to plead guilty to this new information. Mm. You would be adjudicated guilty and your sentence has been um, memorialized in a four page plea agreement. Did you have the opportunity to go over this plea agreement with your lawyer? Yes. Okay. I do need uh, the defendant to initial each page because there are not initials on these pages. All right. Let me know when it's done. Boy, that nigga gonna have a rough time in jail. Yes, sir. Excuse me, y'all, for the background conversation. Motherfucker, gonna sit here and tell me. Like I said, the motherfucker's gonna be respecting my when I be um doing my uploads and shit. He don't view the shit. He don't comment on the shit. He don't like the shit. He a fucking jealous ass hater. He always leave out this motherfucking house and don't say a motherfucking word. So now that he know that I was, I'm here filming, gonna come to me. And say, Red, don't lock the door. I'm coming back. Bitch, who fucking cares? You ain't never told me that you coming back when you walk out this motherfucking raggedy ass house. So why the fuck you telling me that now? You leave every fucking night for the last few months and and, and, and come back in the morning. So why you got to tell me tonight or all, all other nights? Bitch, if you're taking your ass on, get the fuck on. I don't fucking care. Okay? So in case you want to watch this, that's what the fuck I told, said to your ass. You ain't never said any motherfucking thing about you when you walk your raggedy ass out this goddamn house and come back in the motherfucking morning, bitch. So why the fuck do you want to say tonight? Because I'm fucking recording. raggedy ass nigga now it is my understanding Mr. Nowak that you have gone over this plea agreement with your lawyer and I want to go over it with you not each and every aspect of it but the major components of the plea agreement but what I am going to ask is for the state to tell me the general terms of the plea agreement and then we will um, go into the details on the contract go ahead Your Honor, the state agreement includes um, an adjudication, seven years of state prison, followed by ten years of reporting probation. Mm. As a condition of probation, the defendant will... It's like when you say ten years probation. Ten years reporting probation. The defendant will um, complete the MDSO program. The defendant will not be allowed to have unsupervised contact with children. The defendant will have specific terms regarding um, uh, where he may work and the ability to wear a uniform. Um, There are... um, additional um, terms of restitution, of which uh, 5000 has been agreed to be paid up front within 24 hours mailed to the defense, or sorry, to the victim, um, and additional restitution to be paid out on a monthly basis once he is out of custody. Um, and that monthly amount is highlighted in the written terms of the payment. Additionally, there will be a stay away order from victim TS and her mother, which is also mentioned in the plea agreement. What is the total amount of the restitution? The total amount of restitution is $25,000. That ain't no money. All right. That ain't no money. Um, For what that little girl went through. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. That ain't no money for what that little girl went through. He talking about he paid his lawyer six fucking figures and shit like that, motherfucker. Well, give me fucking... Ten hundred thousand times that amount, cause that ain't no motherfucking money. 
you can't put a money amount on what happened to my child. You scarred her for life. You took her innocence. You did something to that little girl that's unthinkable. She would never be the same again. No matter how much therapy she go to, how much counseling she go through, that stick with her forever. You fuck that girl up forever. You have all those women around you, but you still wanted a child. You still wanted a child, you fucking nasty ass bitch. I hope they do to you in jail what you do to that little girl. But no, bitches like you will be in protected custody, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y- y'all like to hide in protected custody. Because you, you, you fucked this little girl up for life. You fucked her up for life. You, can, you, can you put that in your head? You fucked her up for life. She would never be the same. She probably would never trust a man. And then her mom would not, probably won't even, uh, will date again, maybe. I don't know. Because she probably can't trust another man around her or her child. Because she put her trust in your bitch ass. And then you're not black, you're African. And then that's another um, embarrassing thing that, okay, she, I don't know what nationality that the mom is, but I think she's like Puerto Rican or whatever the fuck she is. But she's not black. So now they're looking at black people a certain type of fucking way because you you, you, you go by black. And so now this jacket or oh, another motherfucking nigga locked up for what woo 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 that's secondhand embarrassment. That's secondhand embarrassment. You know, you can't trust them niggas around your kids. You know, the, 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 the negative talk from over there with them. Because this happened today. We had a talk from over there with, with them. Sitting around a fire. Shooting tobacco. Talking about that, another nigger done got locked up for molesting a child. So you can't trust them niggers. Yeah. Yeah. Because you couldn't control yourself. You were around all these bitches, but you still wanted a kid, nigga. What the fuck wrong with you? Who surround yourself with a lot of females to cover up what they really want? You nasty ass. What the fuck wrong with y'all? Okay, so Mr. Nowak, uh, the terms of the plea agreement are as what the prosecutor just stated, that you are going to be entering a plea of guilty to the two counts of aggravated child abuse and one count of uh, contributing to the delinquency of a minor. You will be adjudicated guilty, which is a criminal conviction on your record. Do you also understand, sir, that by entering into this plea that it may subject you to involuntary civil commitment Proceeding set forth in Florida statutes 394.910 through 394.931. Do you understand everything that I've said thus far? Yeah. Okay. Now, I want to also advise you, sir, that you are going to be sentenced to seven years in state prison to be followed by 10 years of reporting probation. In addition to any of these special conditions of probation, You will also participate in and successfully complete a mentally disordered sex offender treatment program that you are also uh, not eligible. Okay, you you may, according to the scene, you may be eligible for early termination if all of the conditions of your probation have been completed, that you have had no violations of your probation, and that uh, you have not been arrested for any other criminal offense. Is that correct, State? And to, to clarify, the terms stated in, in, in 5 is there is no prohibition on early termination. However, there is a requirement that any modification to this agreement be agreed by the state and the court. Okay. All right, sir. Now, with respect to this plea agreement, I have on each page next to defendant's initials MN. Did you, in fact, affix those initials to each page? I did. And have you reviewed each and every component of this plea agreement uh, going through page one and page through page four? I have. Now it says on page four, having read the above mentioned terms of this plea agreement and having been advised by my counsel 
David Terras, I, Michael Note, freely and voluntarily enter into this plea agreement and agree to abide by all terms and conditions of this plea agreement and agree that failure to comply with any terms or conditions within this agreement constitutes a violation of probation and subjects me to be sentenced to the statutory maximum penalties provided by law for the crimes for which I am now pleading guilty. And then it has a signature over the name Michael Noah. Is it that in fact your signature, sir? Yes, sir. All right. And I am now going to place my signature on this plea agreement in that I am now going to be ratifying this plea agreement as negotiated between the state of Florida and your attorney. Has anybody, including your lawyer, told you anything differently than what I just told you? No. Are you under the influence of any alcohol, drugs, or medication affecting your ability to understand me? No. Is anybody forcing, threatening, or coercing you to enter into this plea? No. Do you understand that if you're not a United States citizen, the entry of this plea will have negative immigration consequences, including deportation and removal? I understand. You had the right, sir, to have gone to a jury trial where your lawyer had the ability to compel the attendance of witnesses on your behalf, the ability to confront and cross-examine the witnesses and evidence against you. You had the right to testify just like any other witness or remain silent, and your silence could... Okay, after this, I'm going to go ahead and log off. So I thank you guys again for coming over here and viewing my content. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought about the situation and um thumbs up the content so let's push this one out like we push the rest of the videos out let's get a lot of likes and views and definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think and i am house of queens tv i am queen red and this situation i'm glad that he got locked up i wish he would have got more time seven years is not enough and definitely what he got to pay to the victim is definitely not enough you cannot put a price on the situation you cannot but twenty five thousand that is not nothing that's not even a fraction of what he should have to pay her so this is the the victim's mom speaking through a recorder of how this have traumatized her and her daughter and i want um this is from carlos king um I'm not going to speak after this, so that's why I'm doing my speech now, because it made me teary, it made me angry, and I don't feel like crying again, so I might, I might cry, but that's why I'm doing my speech now, and then after she's speaking, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to log off, because um, this right here, no person boy or female should go through this as a child even an adult dogs get taken advantage of too but as a child she come on i'm just gonna go ahead and let her speak and again like i said thank you guys for coming on here and join and viewing my content and i'll catch you guys on another one
told me you were going to be right back. We were going downstairs. We were going to grab food and take vacation pictures. He told me that he wanted to have a one-on-one talk with her about loving and respecting me as a great mother that I was. In and I actually believed you. I believed that you were going to bring her right back. I thought you were going to have this trusting conversation with her that you promised me. Her and I both trusted you. For a grown man to violate a child who trusted him, you should be ashamed of yourself. You plotted on me and my little girl. The entire time you knew what you planned to do. Isolate, intoxicate, then violate my baby. Shame on you. I trusted you to bring her right back. You were supposed to bring her back the same way that you took her. Instead, you drugged her and took advantage of her. You sexually abused her. You forced alcohol down her throat. Mm. You then forced her to see things that no child should ever have to see. You forced her to feel things that no child should have to feel. You forced her to accept violence that no child should ever have to endure. You forced drugs in her that no human should ever even ingest. She's my child. My baby, how could you? How could you? You could have killed her with all the drugs that were found in her system. You thought your master plan was mapped out perfectly, huh? You thought I'd be dumb enough to believe you over my child. Look and you nice. thought that money would blind me. Look at my eyes. You thought I was going to be so blinded that I wouldn't notice when you were telling her with bruises all over her body and her mouth busted, uncontrollably shaking. Absolutely not. And although you executed your plan and you got what you wanted those couple of hours, you actually failed. Because look where you're at right now. You have created a lifetime of trauma for my daughter and I. Before you, we never knew evil existed. You brought so much evil into my life that early morning. And I'll never forget. I called you like 50 times and you wouldn't answer me. And I called her too, but you took her phone. You drove my baby. You gave her no way to seek help. You left me no way to contact her or even know where she was. I get physically sick now. Never on the way from my daughter because of you. Something as simple as her going to school. I'm a panic mode because I'm scared when she comes back she can be hurt all over again. I constantly have flashbacks of that night. And what she lives with is this. It's not. A, she feels uncomfortable around people and will live with it forever. And this is not fair to her. You never deserved this. Shame on you for forcing evil on our youth. And you know, for a year, I questioned, how could you even do this to us? Because I did nothing wrong to you. We trusted you. I've moved across the country because I believed everything that you told me. But it was pure manipulation I see now. All you do is specialize in selling false dreams. How can you do this to an innocent child and mother who simply trusted you? We did nothing wrong. But you know what? I'm done breaking my head trying to question or figure out how you can do such a thing. It's so simple to me now. You're just a sick man. A man who has, you can have a plethora of women, but you secretly prefer to have a child. It's so clear now. I will never be able to fully trust another person doing the betrayal that you show me. And for that, I was not willing to trust six strangers and go to trial. Nor was I going to put my daughter through an additional trauma. This plea was in our best interest. You and I both know the evidence is extremely substantial. But even with that, I refuse to have my child be tormented when she's done nothing wrong. All she holds is the truth. We'll say this. Although you were so worried about being labeled a sex offender, you did us a huge favor by admitting to guilt, period. So for that, I thank you. I truly thank you. Yes, mitigation took place, and I allowed it as long as it meant going to prison and you getting true help. Because true help means no more victims. The fact that your only non-negotiable was to accept a sex crime shows exactly the type of man that you are. You know what you did in that hotel room. I know what you did, and my daughter knows what you did. DNA doesn't lie. There's no reason why your DNA should have been found on my baby. And yes, I satisfied your focus. And 
by him going to jail and getting counseling and shit like that, he is not going to change because he been doing this shit for years. He fucking in a relationship with the the woman's daughter. He has a baby by his ex girlfriend's daughter that he is currently well he ain't currently with nobody right now because he's motherfucking jail but the girl that he been in many relationship with they i don't know if her name was mayat or whatever the goddamn girl name is because um saying so what's name senyata 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 whatever name is he know her and he know all this situation from the a to z so the woman that he was with for many many years when he go go pull the shit up and he was talking about she was missing the girl wasn't really missing. He had the girl, at, again, at a hotel, st- stashed the motherfucker away. He go on, on, all on um, Instagram and whatever, talking about help him find his stepdaughter. She's missing. She, I think she was 10, 10 or 14 years old. I can't remember how old she was. But he was messing with her the whole fucking time. And so, um, I think when she got up to age or whatever, and the mother found out that they was messing around or whatever, however it happened, the mom left him or whatever she wanted to get her daughter but at the time her daughter was brainwashed and i think at this time she was up to age in that state of the state that it was in so it was legal for her to be with him and there was no proof that he was messing with her um as, as a minor but again the the girl that he was messing with as a minor they are together to this day they are together this day and they have children so he was with the mama first and then he was grooming the daughter and now he's in a relationship with the daughter and they have children together so he been doing this shit he just never got um convicted of any fucking thing until motherfucking now so his mentor dr york york whatever the fuck his name is he was doing the same thing Google his motherfucking name dr yorky dr york whatever the fuck if y'all know y'all know put it in the comment section that's his mentor. He is currently in jail now to this day. That's his fucking mentor. Another fucking path to foul. That was doing some unthinkable shit to children. So he learned from the best. So now it's just that he has to register as a sex offender he's on probation for 10 years so motherfuckers that's doing shit like this and they got a fucking habit yeah it's gonna be hard because it's it's implanted into them so the only thing that's going to help other children is he got to register he took his passport he thought he was gonna take his ass back over to over there to, to the motherland with that bullshit Nah, 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 you gotta stand trial, bitch. You gotta stand trial in the state that you did the shit in, bitch. You wanna finna get on that boat and run. You got your ass finally. And your reputation is fucked now. But everybody already knew you was this nasty ass nigga. Now it's in black and white. Now the world know you are this nasty ass nigga. It's no allege. There's no allege to it. Not allegedly. No, we can't say that no more. It's it's black and white. You trial. You, you got convicted, bitch. Fuck what you got convicted for. But we, it's still the same. Same. It's in the same category. Same vocabulary, bitch. You still fucking children. Yeah, yeah. Same category. I didn't get convicted. I didn't plead guilty to this and that, bitch. It's still the same. It's still in the same motherfucking category. A petty fight, a nigga like having sex with children. It's all the same. It's it's all the same. Yeah, your reputation is fucked. It's been fucked. You a fuck nigga. Don't go. 
woman that she is. So, Michael Noah, I hope you enjoy prison and God bless you. Mm. Fuck that shit. Shout out to Carlos King. Right. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you.